Hi, my name is Vibeke and welcome to Diving Ducks Crochet. So today I want to show you how to crochet this little stylish scarf. I will show you every step of the way from the beginning to the end of the scarf. And I will also leave a link for the written pattern for this scarf down below. This uh, contains all the pictures of every step and also all the measurements. So without further ado, let's begin. First, I want to talk a little about the materials I've used. For the yarn, I've used this extra fine merino wool. This is extremely soft. This is, I really love this yarn. And you can see all the information right here. Um, and you can see this is 100% wool and in a fine weight too. And I have also used this Diablo. This is a mohair mix. And you can also see the information on this one. And in here, so you can see this is a lace weight zero. And this is just to uh, to uh, crochet together. And this is just to make it a little bit more fluffy. So this makes it soft and nice and gives it all the texture. And this makes it a little bit more fluffy and makes it look a little more stylish. And then I've used a five millimeter crochet hook, some scissors, and finally a tapestry needle to weave in the ends at the end. So to begin this, we begin with a slip knot. And to make this very fluffy and nice texture, we grab both our merino and our mohair. So these two together and make a slip knot. I will just show you with the merino only in the beginning, just the beginning right here, to make it a little bit more clear to see what I'm doing. But you just put both strands together to make this very fluffy texture. So begin with a slip knot. Make a loop with your yarn and take the long end of the yarn behind the loop. Then grab it from the middle with your hook and pull. Then we chain four, so yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through four times. Then we begin in the second chain from the hook. So skip this first chain, insert the hook in the second chain and single crochet. And in the next two chains, you also single crochet. So we skip the first one. So you'll end up with three single crochet in total. Then we chain one to turn the work. So just chain one, turn the work, and then skip the first one, move on to the second chain and <laughs> stitch, sorry, move on to the second stitch, insert the hook and single crochet into the second stitch. And one single crochet all the way over. So three single crochet. And then repeat the previous step. Chain one, skip the first one, and single crochet in the next. Single crochet in the next two. see this final one, insert the hook, single crochet, and then before you turn, you will make an increase in this final stitch. So in this stitch where you just did the single crochet, you will insert the hook and do another single crochet in the same stitch. So now we have four single crochet on this row. So now chain one, turn, Skip the first one and single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. So four single crochet all the way over. That's it. Then chain one and turn. We will not be increasing. And single crochet all the way across. So we have four single crochet. And you see, we did one increase right here. We will not be increasing for this row. 
So we just turn and work our way over for the next one. And then just turn without do and increase. And again, we will not be increasing this time, but we will work our way all the way back to the other side. And do not increase. And then all the way back again. And we will now increase in the final stitch. So just do one single crochet in the final stitch and then another single crochet in the same stitch. So we will do an increase. So now we have one, two, three, four, five stitches and we increased one. So you will just repeat this pattern. So you see it's getting a little bit bigger. You will do one increase here, then all the way back. No increase right here. No increase and on all the way back, increase. So increase, no increase for two and then increase. So your scarf will end up having no increases on this side, but it will get bigger and bigger on this side only. So just repeat this pattern again and again so you can see the increases right here where the, bump, the little bumps are. And when we are at the middle where the widest point is, we have 16 single crochet across and we just did an increase in this previous row right here. And we are about to make it on this side again of the scarf. I will now finish this row and then we begin the decreases. I will not be beginning this. So instead of doing one single crochet in the final two stitches, we will now make a decrease. So we will do these two single crochet as one single crochet. So you just insert the hook and begin the next single crochet. Stop when you're at this point, then insert the hook in the next single crochet, yarn over and pull through and stop. And then we finish the stitch and pull them all together. So two single crochet becomes one single crochet. Okay, that's a decrease. So now just chain one and turn and then work our way. Still skip this first one, move on to the second and then crochet all the way across with one single crochet in each stitch. And down here, you of course will do nothing. You will just keep this going straight and then you will just instead of doing increases every third time you make it on this side you will do a decrease instead. When we decreased all the way to the other end we have this uh, wide part in the middle going all the way down to this very narrow part and we will now make the edge look a little bit nicer than all these bumps. So we will make an edge of single crochet all the way around and we begin with a chain one and then we just do one single crochet in every row all the way across. And I always keep this a little bit loose. So that's your first row. This is your next row. Just one single crochet in every row. So you see this is your next row right here. Just insert the hook and single crochet loosely. So you have this very nice edge after this. Just show you a few stitches and see how this will end up. So you see we are going to have this very straight and nice edge all the way instead of all these bumps. And you continue all the way around, also on this side of the scarf. 
When we're all the way around, we will now weave in the end. So we will begin with cutting the yarn. And then we just make a little slip stitch in the next stitch, just to get this finishing a little bit more nice and even. Then pull through the loop and find your tapestry needle and thread it. Like that. We will now weave in the end and I always weave in the end on the back side of my work. But this scarf, it really has no back side because we've been working back and forth. So both sides should be equal, but I'll just weave it on one of the sides. And we've been working in this mohair yarn and this is always very nice to hide some small flaws and stuff. So that's it. Now we can cut the yarn and throw away this one and we are actually done with our scarf. I will just zoom out a little bit so you can see this entire scarf and you can see the edges has become a little bit more nice and even instead of all these little bumps. So that's it. I hope you find this tutorial easy to follow. If you did, please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.